Right now, I'd like to introduce you to the official official of Puppy Bowl, Puppy Bowl 8, the ref, and two of his very special and very adorable guests to help us ring the opening bell this morning. Thanks, Rick. Uh, well, this is Reno in Vegas, and there are two Pitbull lab mixes that are currently available for adoption through the Connecticut Humane Society and Pet Finder. They've traveled a long way to be here, so let's give them a big round of applause and welcome them. Patriots may be featured in the big game this coming Sunday, but it's not the only game in town. Today, animal advocate Jill Rappaport is here to explain that. Jill, good morning. Hi, Matt. Not all the sign in the studio is over Brad Pitt. Let me tell you, in today's Super Bowl, it's about shoulder pads and wee-wee pads and the special game, which features four-legged athletes that I had the privilege of coaching. Move over, Manning and Brady. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog lineup as these canines are cruising for a bruising in Animal Planet's Puppy Bowl 8. I'm here to give you a little pep talk in your ear, or as we like to call it, a pup talk. In my role as canine coacher, confidence builder, and puppy protector, I led 58 power pooches on the gridiron for an all-star showdown, waging a war with wagging tails. A frenetic vital free-for-all. The added bonus that all of these daring doggies come from shelters across the country and are up for adoption. It's definitely a menagerie of madness. You gotta take that thing to the end zone, Pooch. So this Sunday, how about a little paw to paw action? He could go all the way. Which is the odds on favorite game to win. All right, Jill, thank you very much. Dan, Schack Dan Schachter is the official referee for Puppy Bowl 8. Dan, good morning to you. Good morning. It's not about football. It's about finding great homes for wonderful puppies, Well, don't right? tell these guys it's not about football. <laughs> yeah. they've, they've been training for weeks. competitors. No, it is. It's about adoption awareness. Animal Planet has teamed up with PetFinder.com. Every puppy you see on Puppy Bowl is from a rescue or a shelter around the country. They're all adoptable, including these guys. All right, let, let's introduce the starting lineup, sure. okay? <laughs> Puppy number one is Jet. So All right, a 10-week-old beagle mix who weighs right. about 10 pounds. Yes. Puppy number two is Johnny. Johnny mm -hmm. is a 10-week-old beagle mix. He's Jet's brother. Yep. But oh, looks nothing like Jet, by the way. But very compatible. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. he weighs between 8 and 10 pounds. <laughs> Puppy number three, Delta, a 14-week-old red bone coonhound mix. She right weighs here. about oh, 13 pounds. Yeah. Puppy <laughs> number four, this is a late edition, Laverne, oh, yep. okay, <laughs> who is a Chihuahua mix. And puppy number five, Minnie, 12-week-old Boston <laughs> Terrier mix. She's a hefty pup. That She's one weighs 20 girl. pounds. How okay, cute. what are the rules, Dan? Well, uh, first of all, I just want to point out these are all from the Connecticut Humane Society, right. so a local shelter doing great work. The rules of Puppy Bowl are very loose and fast. As long as the chew toy is dragged into an end zone, it counts as a touchdown. Look at okay. And I'm here to watch out for puppy fouls of all kinds. For example, if one of the puppies relieves himself or herself. Yes, but you have to pick your battles. If I were to do that at every point, we'd never go on with and the game. And becomes the Poopy Bowl. <laughs> so, as Mark said them. earlier, then it's roughing the pisser. <laughs> Good one. Someone make a note. That's for next year. All right, so let's begin the game, okay? All right. I'm going to step out of here. Here we go. I'm going to drop the chew toy, and you all can drop your dogs gently, please. Ready? Okay. Ready? All right. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Let's go, guys. Come on. What happens if they ignore the chew toy? That's fine. That's fine. Usually there's one that does pick it up. Go, go, Again, watch out for any rough housing. Usually we don't have humans on the field. No, okay. Is there any penalty for the human who speaks with the most ridiculous voice of the puppy? Because that would be Jim. Kind of an illegal formation. So let's take it off their jersey. She didn't like her Patriots jersey. Obviously a Giants fan. So, you know, we can encourage them a little bit. We can... We Give me another this toy. Way again. To see what happens. And we that way oh, oh, so That's all right. <laughs> Even though we might not have any touchdowns scored right now, Dan, just once again, these oh, are puppies that are up for adoption. There are a lot more of these oh. where they came from. And yes. they're all MVPs, most valuable pooches. Yes. <laughs> and Puppy Bowl 8 airs this Sunday <laughs> afternoon <laughs> on Animal Planet. Just to add what you need to know before spending money oh. on at home medical tests after your local news. <laughs> The players are ready to roll. 
It's been a year of anticipation. Finally, the day has arrived. Are you ready for the biggest, furriest, cuddliest sporting event of the season? It's Puppy Bowl 8. This is Jet. He's a 10-week-old Beagle mix. He is available for adoption, uh, just like all the other puppies you've seen here today are. Uh, he's from the Connecticut Humane Society, who has partnered with Valley River Humane Society uh, to increase adoption awareness. And they've helped us out this week in promoting adoption awareness and our Puppy Bowl coming up this Sunday at 3 o'clock. For the biggest, furriest, cuddliest sporting event of the season, it's Puppy Bowl 8. Super Bowl mania is in full swing as the New York Giants get ready to take on the New England Patriots this Sunday. But if you're not interested in watching the game or even the commercials, there is another championship contest you might want to check out. This one of the canine variety. I'm Kelsey Hubbard and I'm here with Dan Schachner, who's the ref of Puppy Bowl 8 on Animal Planet. But these dogs are going to go at it on the gridiron this Sunday to see who wins most valuable puppy. Dan, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. What's making this so successful? Um, besides the fact that it's puppies. Besides the fact that it's puppies <laughs> playing on a miniaturized football field for two hours. Uh, puppy Bowl 8 is, is bigger and better than ever. Um, you know, we attract millions of viewers every year. I think not just because we have a, a, an amazing event, but all sorts of other animals. We have cats. Chickens, the menagerie um, of yeah. animals. But yeah, because we're also we have a bigger purpose, which is to raise adoption awareness. So all of the puppies that participate in Puppy Bowl are from rescues and shelters across the country. There's 59 in total, and so we just encourage people to go to PetFinder.com, who's partnered with Animal Planet, and adopt a puppy. So if a lot of people are watching this and fall in love with any of these animals, you yeah. know, what should really people be keeping in mind before they make that decision to really take right. a puppy into their, into their life? Yeah, I think bigger than the decision about which pup to adopt is to decide if you are ready to adopt. So make sure you have enough time to devote to your pup. Um, uh -oh, they need a lot of, you know, in the beginning, of course, you need a lot of patience. They need, you need to engage them. You need to be able to get them their exercise and just be there for them. So if you're a busy person with a lot of, you know, a lot of commitments and not a lot of free time, it might no, not be the right field time. Goal. Yeah, it's a field <laughs> goal slash penalty. Are these usually high scoring games? Uh, <laughs> yes, I'll be honest. Sometimes we lose count. There's so many touchdowns. I, you know, yeah, they are high-scoring games because the point is to just drag a chew toy into the end zone. It doesn't matter uh, which end zone. It doesn't matter whose team you're on. As long as the chew toy is dragged over, touchdown. For the Puppy Bowl this year, I know you're adding pigs, you said. They're going to be on the sidelines. Yes. Uh, uh, it in up. previous years, we had chickens as cheerleaders. But there was a big contract dispute. The unions got involved, right. and we said no chickens. We, did, we went with pigs this year. We're very happy about them. It's five pigs hamming it up on the sidelines, motivating our players. Any good, you know, event has to have a lot of social media at play to it. So Pop you've got a parrot, parakeet, right? The, cockatiel. A cockatiel. Yep. That's even better. And, and he's going to be tweeting? He, yeah, his name's Meet the Bird. You can follow him on Twitter, Meet the Bird. And he'll be tweeting uh, game highlights and a lot of behind-the-scenes actions throughout the game, so you can follow him. All right, Dan. Well, I think they're ready for the big game. Thank you so they much are. for bringing it to us. We'll be watching you and uh, make sure to get all those fouls this weekend. I'll try my best. <laughs> and all those touchdowns. Be easy. All right. You've been watching the Wall Street Journal Off-Duty Channel. I'm Kelsey Hubbard. And be sure to log on to the Connecticut Humane Society or PetFinder.com to vote for the MVP, the most valuable puppy. Sports Nation is presented by Toyota. Hello, Nation. I'm Michelle Beadle. Oh, that is not Colin Cowherd. You're welcome. This is Sports Nation, the show that has one host who gets to be completely lazy and miss out, which means that today the show is all mine. So I picked his replacement, and I'm about to give you my two favorite things on the planet. Herm Edwards and Puppy! Her name is Christmas. Oh, hello, Chris. Oh, boy. You're a little nervous. Oh, first time on television. No, well, you're a star. I can already tell you're a star. Uh, you're looking right now. <laughs> there are puppies everywhere, so you'll forgive me if I just randomly laugh throughout the course of today. But you're looking at our Sports Nation Puppy Bowl Stadium, where we've got 10 puppies on hand today to just dominate life and crush. There's Super Bowl 46, <laughs> and then there's Puppy Bowl. Honestly, there is no better way to prepare for the Super Bowl than this. It is the only way they can get us, well, me, to come in on a Sunday, Herm. 
Oh. Is bribe me with puppies. All right, Christmas, are you ready? Are you ready? Puppy bowl, there's oh, Dan, our ref puppy. today. Oh, yeah. One oh. of those luck. Oh, oh, he jumped out. He's escaped. Oh, One of those lucky guys car. will be making our official Sports Nation puppy prediction at the end of the show. Look, he got out. How do we get out of here? Oh, this is too much. He's visiting with the fans. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday <laughs> Sports Nation style. We are we're live right now at our Puppy Bowl Stadium, joined of course by referee Dan Shackner, who um, either has the greatest job in the world or the hardest job in the world right now. I'm not sure. It's a little bit of both. Yeah. How does that feel? What what's happening right now? What kind of awesome? Can this we is expect? warm up right now. Okay. These guys are just going through their drills and getting ready for the game. Uh, I got my bench warmer here just in case we need to substitute somebody. Right. This is Rudolph. You've got his brother Christmas over there. Hi, Christmas. I and uh, and we're ready. Now, there are rules, believe it or not, Coach. Really? You can't just come in here and run around crazy like. You can't jump over the net either. No, well, they Definitely try, but not. you cannot. What kind of rules are we looking at? for? Puppy well, uh, they're kind of fast and loose. As long as a chew toy is dragged into an end zone, counts as a touchdown, counts as a point. doesn't matter which end zone. Okay. It's kind of like when, oh, that's nice. Like when three-year-olds play soccer. Yeah. No one really cares who scores where. As long as the goal is scored, we're happy. That's it. It doesn't matter which side. It seems I like, like you're the coach. Just, yeah. Grab well, a little puppy and just drag him across. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, good. Some of these guys are crazier them. than others. Do they have penalties? Yeah, we have a ton of penalties. <laughs> a ton. Really? A ton. Uh, everything from illegal napping on the field, uh, premature watering of the lawn, which happens which a lot. Which happens. A lot. Uh, we've got illegal retriever down the field. We've got roughing the passer, roughing the kicker. We've got this one, illegal that's fornication. This uh, one. Uh, that's not good. That's a foul. I got to call that one. That's a foul. That's usually a big 15-yard penalty. The, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, and you might lose a down on that one. Yeah, you might, you might. Apparently, you might. 15 yards might not be enough. Not for these two. You might need to add a couple more yards to yeah. that one. Now, the, the most stadium. important question, other than the one I'm holding, um, yeah. are these puppies up for adoption? This is the greatest thing about this event, Puppy Bowl, on Animal Planet today at 3 o'clock. Every single puppy you see is available for adoption. Oh. Go to PetFinder.com and find a puppy in your neighborhood, in yep. your area that is available. Uh, these guys are all also available for adoption as well. Oh, Herm. Wow. You know you're going home to two little ones. I know I got two little girls. They'll see this show and say, Daddy, Daddy, we Daddy. want one of those puppies. They're going to look at you and go, oh, God, you're home. Where's the puppy? I know. I'm yeah, no, no home. stress. Thank you, Dan. We'll be back. More puppies sure. in a bit. They're out of control, by the way. Obviously. Uh, it, this, is, this is the moment. Uh -oh. We've all been waiting for uh -oh. it. It's time for our puppy prediction. Christmas. You go to Uncle Herm. Christmas, come on, wake up. It's time to wake up. Go, oh, Jet. Right. Head over here with Dan and Jet. Right. Have you talked to Jet about yeah. this big moment? I was thinking, don't let the fact that his name is Jet influence. Oh, I did. You know his move here. All right. He's not a Pats hater. He's not a He's Pats hater. Completely neutral. Well, that's okay. We can work Yo, on Jet. that. I think, by the way, we should have him start facing that way. He should face this way. Yeah, that way he's away from both bowls and see where he point. turns. And now, just so you know, equal amounts of food in both bowls, representing both the Giants and the Patriots. Jet, obviously, like any good dog, wants at the food. Jet, are you ready for this? All of America is anticipating your pick. Are we ready? Yeah! Jet, go, Jet, are you go, ready? Jet. Here Jet. we go. Go, Jet! Go get your food! Yeah! There you go, Jet! Yeah! I would do a sideline interview.